The interview you really need to see. You need to see Rob Kirby. Now I'll tell you why uh, Rob Kirby. You'll find him on Greg Hunter, and and he's done his latest interview. And you, you, the reason why you need to take a look at, uh, at Rob Kirby's interview is, I consider Rob Kirby to be an insider. And there's a reason why I consider Rob Kirby to be an insider, and I've been listening to what he has to say for a long time. Is the man is in the gold market and he doesn't deal he's not like uh, these guys that are in coin stores to sell an ounce of gold here and an ounce of gold there rob kirby is an insider in the market because he deals in tonnage of gold he sells tons of gold you want to go to rob kirby if you want to buy a whole ton or 10 tons or 20 tons and he allocates it so he's on top of the gold market different than the guys that work in these uh, stores they don't really know what's going on with massive quantities of gold and where it's going rob kirby's an insider okay because he deals in tons of gold and he gets word off the street on a lot of things and a lot of subjects now uh why you want to watch this interview with rob kirby is Rob Kirby is saying that he believes that the Exchange Stabilization Fund uh, turned things, changed things, and that they are changing things, that they are actually buyers of U.S. Treasuries, and they've been keeping the U.S. Treasury price from falling uh, by buying massive volumes of U.S. Treasuries, and they've been holding up this market, and but they've been pumping vast amounts of money into the system. Do you remember when uh, Trump was elected, the initial tendency of the markets was for the markets to fall steeply and for the price of gold to soar. Then all of a sudden things changed. Everything turned around in exactly the opposite direction. Gold started to, started to fall and the markets started to go up. And the markets have taken off ever since. This is money. This vast quantities of money that's coming into the system, uh, the system, uh, I believe that the system is being artificially pumped up by voluminous amounts of money, and Rob Kirby might have the source of that money. It could actually be the Exchange Stabilization Fund. Now, all of this money that's being pumped into the system, liquidity floating around the system, and the system is awash with money, and listen to what Rob Kirby has to say about this, because it's very important. This all meshes in with what uh, Cliff High has been saying. Cliff High has been saying that he sees through his analytics, he can see a, a stock market, the stock market going to unbelievable heights. And the reason why it's going to go to those unbelievable heights is one simple answer, hyperinflation. Well, what Rob Kirby has to say is meshing in with this just perfectly. The two are meshing in together in a frightening way toward, toward a, a, what's called a crack-up boom, which is a hyperinflationary event that could drive the stock market up to, quite seriously, 100000 But by that time, what's your money worth? <laughs> and by that time, what is gold worth? So these guys that are saying gold 10,000, gold 5,000, they might be seriously wrong. It might be gold 100,000. It might be gold a million. You know, in a, in a, in a crack up boom, a hyperinflation, uh, when, they, when they actually start to not even count the bills anymore, the bills are so worthless. They become so worthless that they don't care if it's a $100 bill or a $20 bill. They just bundle them all together, put elastic bands around them in a stack about this thick of bills. And they hand them to you and they say how much it weighs. And they put it on a scale. And they say, oh, that's two pounds of bills. Right? Okay. And they say, how, how much is that? And they say, well, it's uh, one-tenth of an ounce of silver. <laughs> or or, or one-fiftieth, one gram of gold. I'm just making this up as I go along right here. But you're getting the, I'm trying to do it so you can get the idea of what I'm talking about. And then they hand that to you. And you take it home. You start counting it. And you find out maybe there's a, a half a million dollars there. Or, or, or if you've got another, another bundle uh, with elastic bands around, you might count, it might be 300000 And the next bundle looks 500000 uh, just because the bills are different denominations. But they don't care. They just sell it to you by the pound. That's how worthless 
this currency could become in relationship to gold and silver, which could go so high that it's unobtainable with paper currency. In other words, it's almost impossible to buy the gold and silver with paper currency at that point. Your paper currency becomes so worthless. And so what would happen at that point is we go, we revert back to a world where gold and silver are the real money. Where they've always really been real money. This whole concept, that this screwball concept is out of whack. That people like, uh, like the former head of uh, the Fed, Fed uh, Ben Bernanke, uh, saying that gold's not not money, that gold is an antiquated relic of the past and stuff like that. When, when the truth is, what's not real money is these stupid bills that they got floating around in the system that everybody's using right now. Uh, they got their thing. That I, I watch them uh, when they go through a fast food restaurant. They actually will drive through the drive through and the woman will hand them out this this thing on a cord to pay. It, it, it it's it's a little mechanical box on on the end of an electric cord to pay, and they push a few numbers on that, and they put their card into that. That's not money. <laughs> that's not even that's not even that's not even paper money. What in the hell is it? It doesn't even exist. If the computer turns off or the electricity goes off, that doesn't even exist anymore. Talk about not real. But the system is awash in this stuff right now. You see? And and when everything goes back, when everything cracks up, when this whole thing falls apart, and trust me, it's going to have to fall apart. It has to fall apart because it's going through what's called exponential growth. The whole thing's going through what's called exponential growth. And and it's they have a pattern that they call a hockey stick where everything goes straight up like this. And that's where we're on right now. We're on that straight up like that. Now, if you see anything in the markets, something that's going straight up like that, you say to yourself, what goes up has to come down. It's just the law of physics. You see? So stay tuned. Watch both of these guys. Watch Ron Kirby and also watch, uh, watch Cliff High. And you're going to see how both sets of ideas mesh together. Okay? And so that's uh, one of the reasons why I'm keeping my eye on what Cliff High has to say. Because... His ideas are meshing in with uh, with a with a lot of very serious, uh, even insiders. Also, another uh, what I consider to be a real insider is uh, he's worked for the CIA. Is, is is Richards, and he sees a uh, uh, of time of trouble coming up very soon. Uh, he sees uh, uh, problems in the systems somewhat similar. Uh, thank you very much. Like and subscribe, and uh, bye bye for now.